Good afternoon, everyone. Happy, let me think. Happy Sunday to us all. Sorry about that. Happy Sunday to us all. Hope you're having a nice weekend. Um, fingers crossed the weather's all right. I'm recording the Sunday's episode um, on a very dreary Thursday where it's been raining all night. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you that it turns around for Sunday. But yeah, I hope you're having a nice Sunday. Uh, I'm Lucia FM as always. I am your host here. And I'm currently managing Ray Rovers, as we all know. Um, where we just let me just tell you where we are at the moment in the league. We are currently second with uh, 17 games, getting 35 points. We're two points behind Hearts, and um, we're two points ahead of Celtic. Rangers completely having a disaster of a season, which I'm surprised about. Um, the last time you were with us yesterday, we won three 0 against Livingston. We beat. Um, Celtic 3-0 with a with a set piece masterclass. We basically scored three goals from corners and headers. So that was pretty funny. Um I think this Livingston game was the game where Danielle Ruiz scored two hat tricks. No, what not two hat tricks, two free kicks. It wasn't that game. It was the previous episode uh before this one. So um and then we drew and then we lost two one to Falkirk, which I was really annoyed about. Um, yeah, yeah. Literally in the last minute, it's because of Diaz getting sent off. We were winning one nil. We probably would have the game. Would have won the game. Diaz got sent off. I had to do some reshuffling. Didn't do any. Didn't make any difference. As always, FM's just going to FM in it. Uh, eighty ninth minute, Falkirk scored, and then in the ninety fifth minute they scored again. So these things happen. These things are here to test us. Um, but I thought it in a few days. We've got Hearts next game, which is a very big game. Who else have we got in the next couple of, uh, couple of games? We've got a big December ahead of us. Look at how many games we've got in December. Ridiculous. Um, Hearts. So today's episode will be a big episode because we've got Hearts, Aberdeen, Rangers and Dundee. So no easy game there, really. I don't think Dundee's an easy game either because they're fourth. So very tough games ahead of us. Um, we've had a we finally had an offer for Camacho, uh, or whatever his name is, Camargo. So we'll finally get rid of him. This, um, I think this save corrupted or something because it's very slow. I think it might be something to do with the fact that we're so far in, but we're, we're only five seasons in. I don't know what's going on. It's just really slow. Whereas my other save, it's not that. So it's not an issue with my laptop. I think it's an issue with this save. So what I might do, what I'm thinking of doing is if I win the, if I do somehow win the Scottish Premiership this season, I think I'm going to call it an end to the, the series because I think it's just going to get worse and worse and I don't want the quality to start getting worse and worse because of the same. So, um, yeah, just one of them in it. But, you know, we've achieved what we want to achieve in winning the Scottish Premiership with Ray Rovers. That's what we wanted. That was the main objective. Obviously, we would like to have won the European Thing, a European trophy, but I, just, I don't think we'd have been able to do that in the next 10 seasons, never mind in, in the next season or two. Um, but it's been a really enjoyable save. I don't want to, I, I would continue, um, but I don't want it to become a miserable experience for the for you people, that the few people that I have here watching me. I don't want to put you off. Um, I have another save in mind because. Um, Anyway, we'll talk about it another time. Let's just see how we get on. We've got the rest of this season to sort out first. And if we don't win the Scottish Premiership, we, we continue again for another season. So I'm not finishing this save until we finish uh, uh, what we wanted to do, the objective, which is winning the Scottish Premiership. And I feel like this season, we've got a good chance. Um, we're doing well. Usually we go on a bit of a bad run and at the moment we haven't because usually mid-season we do I'm not saying that won't happen I mean we just we just lost the fault Kirk, so you never know hopefully if we beat Hearts we'll go top again but as always I jinx myself so we'll probably lose the Hearts and Celtic will probably win and then they'll overtake us and we'll be third and then we'll have to do the whole thing all over again next season but we'll see let's try and stay positive as you can see from here, processing the days is taking forever. And I don't know why it's just suddenly done this. 
Should a save shouldn't just suddenly slow down out of nowhere, even if you are five save five season two. I think there might be like a file that I've used for this particular save that's that, that gradually slows the game right down. Uh, let's have a look how many leagues we've got loaded. That might be something to do with it as well. We haven't that many. We only got these. It's not it's not that many. It's only 116 player database. Computer performance is predicted at four and a half. Estimated game speed is meant to be slow, but it, it shouldn't be that slow. Actually, let me do something with this. If I remember its interface. And then... It's to do with the graphics, isn't it? Uh, oh, I can't remember how you do it now. Uh, is it all? Let's just try it all. Right, all of them. And then... Uh, graphics quality. Oh, it's already low. Should we try very low? Let's try very low, see if that does anything. Maybe that'll help in some way. Take a minute or two. Hopefully not too long. Because I can it's it's a, it's driving me mad, so I can imagine what it's like for you lot. Uh, but yeah, while I'm waiting for that to load up, um basically the next save I'm gonna do on FM I was hoping this one was gonna be the main the, the save that I did until FM twenty five, but it's not it's not working out that way by the looks of it. So um, I've got another, I had, I bought another mystery shirt months ago, um, after, after my first season with Rafe Rovers where it didn't work out. Um, but I decided to stick with Rafe Rovers. Um, uh, but I still got the shirt and, um, I will mention what team I'm going to be next at the end of this, uh, not this episode, at the end of this season episode. Probably, so you know who I'm going to manage next. It's not going to be a British team. Um, it's going to be a European team. It's not going to be a top division European team. Uh, I'll give you a clue. It begins with an A. That's the only clue you're going to get. It's two. It's 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 two names. The the, the team's got two names, so it's not going to be At Atlanta or anything like that. It's going to be a team um, with. Two, two words in their name, basically, is, is what I meant. Anyway, let's get on with this save now. Right, so we're playing Hearts Next Away. It's going to be a very tough game, this one. Um, tickling goal, Ayano is right back. Vivas and Naraki in defence. Bruce on the left. Petrovic and Rios in midfield. Coelho on the right. Barr in the middle. Ruiz on the left. And Anawanu up front. So is Hoyland injured? I think he's injured, isn't he? From what I remember last save. Last episode, sorry. I'm still waking up everyone, so I'm getting my words all muddled up. I'm much more I'm much more coherent when I'm doing my Twitch stream, by the way, because by that point I'm a bit more awake. So if you want to hear a coherent Lucha FM, um, feel free to watch me on Twitch uh, Mondays and Tuesdays at two PM. I am do I am streaming um, yeah, Mondays and Tuesdays, sorry. So, but I don't, I don't stream football manager stuff. There we go. That's a good start. I don't stream football manager stuff on, on Twitch. I Twitch stream TW 2020. But if you just want to come and have a chat with me and uh, get to know me a bit more, then feel free to join me on Twitch. If you need to, if you want to ask me anything about this particular save or you've got any cool, cool ideas for another save to start on YouTube, then let me know. All right, we're doing well. One nil up. Let's keep this lead as best as we can. If we win, if we win this, actually, I'm not saying this. I say this every time I choose this. I'm not saying anything. I wait until the game's finished. 
Celtic player. No. They never seem to play the same day as us Celtic. It's really annoying. Oh, we just hit the post. Right, a couple of players underperforming. We're still winning though, so we can't. Oh, there we go. It's going to score from here, any? This will lead to a goal one way or another, whether it's from him or from a rebound. Oh, okay, I stand corrected. Good tackle there, Oriano. Right, hearts seem to be getting into this game now. Uh, oh, they've got some good players, hearts. They've got Seiko Mara, they've got Bobby Zamori. I'll have a look who else I've got in a sec. Let's see if this is allowed. Oh, good. Thank God for that. Right. Um, let's take off Yana. Let's put Ashby on. Let's take off Corwello because he's knackered and he's not been playing well. We'll put on Siska. Move that for now, just in case. Uh, let's have a look at the Hearts team for a second. So, yeah, they've got some noticeable players on there. Uh, Chavela, Samore, Pofundi, Adosi, um, Amara, Millet. Some good players. Uh, Castronos. So, yeah, fair play to them. Got a decent side. I've really enjoyed managing in the Scottish League, so to be honest, you're not like you know you can sign a few decent players, but you're not expected to sign any superstars and stuff like that. So you know, unless they're old, retired, um, retiring. Sorry. Right, Rios, you come off. Uh, Petrovic, you can't come off. I ain't got no one to put on for you. Also, just letting you know that the shirt that I've got for that team um, is an orangey shirt. It's like a light orange shirt. Um, I don't think it's their main home shirt, though. I think it might be one of their away shirts or their third kits. I got I, I kind of got screwed over both times on um, the mystery shirt thing that I bought, but it's made a really enjoyable save with Rafe Rover, so I can't complain too much. Um, I just think it was a bit overpriced for what I what I got, but yeah. But this, uh, whenever I do finish this save, the Rafe Rover shirt will be pinned on the wall, I think. So uh, I'll retire the shirt, so to speak, stick it on the wall. Talking of walls, um, this is a backdrop, by the way. This is not a brick wall, so please don't panic for the state of it. Um, the reason why it's all over the place is because it is lent. Um, it's a length against my staircase, which is here, which takes me up to, I've got like an all-in-one flat. Um, so to get upstairs into my bedroom, the stairs are here. So what it does, it leans, because every time I sit on my sofa, the sofa pushes to the left. So then it pushes into the backdrop and the backdrop leans forward. So that's why it looks like an absolute disaster. Um, I could keep trying to correct it, but it's just, it just a waste of my time because it just ends up eventually going back to this. Anyway, we won that game. Um, I was surprised that we won. I thought we would have lost or drawn, but we won. So that's good. As I said, I feel like things are turning around in this same. But anyway, I'll be back in a minute for the... Hold on, let me check the news items first. Vivers has been a really good signing, hasn't he? And he's improving in training as well. Let's give him a bit of praise. Look at him, he's really improving. At 26 years old, fair play to him. Yeah, four goals in 17 games. He's like a he's like a Valencian Steve Bruce, isn't he? Uh, I'm dating myself there on a John Terry then for you youngsters or 
Uh, I'm trying to think who else is a central defender that scores loads. Of Van Dijk, like a Van Dijk maybe. He's like a Van Dijk. Right, rigo has gone. Sad to see him go. He was all right for a, for a brief period of time, but out with the old, in with the new. Right, I'll be back in a minute for the next game. Right, and we're back. Um, I don't think there's major. So hopefully we'll get a work permit for Yarno because I'll be gutted if we have to get rid of him. How's uh, Darren Roy doing? Oh god, he was sent off. That's not good. I've got high hopes for him with his transfer value being so high. Uh, he's played ten games though. Doing all right. How's uh, uh, how's Gary Rui doing? Right, so he's uh gonna play three games. I don't think he's. I don't think there's been any improvement since we che last checked him out. Four games. I think he's only played one more game. He's doing well though when he's played. Um, like I said, if they didn't have Timber there, he'd probably be their starting right back. Thank God for that. Ayano signed a new contract. Work permit agreed. Vivas was in the team of the week. Um, we'll assess that at the end of the season. Oh God, now Rocky's out. I was only a few days. It's all right. <clears throat> uh, I think we're just gonna have to get rid of him. He's just gonna keep moaning otherwise. That's that. Let's see him out the door. We don't have moaners in here. You work hard, you earn your place, you don't flipping just sit there and moan. Alba might be out the door now as next as well. We will see. If he keeps moaning, we'll boot him out as well. Aberdeen next game. No easy game, this one. But we should be the favourites to win. Right, Hodgesage is coming in. Good signing for the future. I think what I'll do is if I do another uh, Scottish League save, in, maybe for FM25, I don't think I'll have that file that gives the Scottish clubs all that money. I think it does make it fair, more fair for Scottish teams, um, but not realistic to real life. Um, unfortunately, Scottish clubs don't make much money off the TV deals, which is a shame, but it's, it's, uh, it is it is it is what it is. But yeah. Right. Um, here we go. So line up here, tickling goal. Ayano's right back, Diaz is back after suspension, we're playing alongside Vivas. Bruce is left back, Petrovic and Rios in midfield, Coelho, Barr and Ruiz in the attacking midfield positions, and Eniyamu is up front, so I assume Hoyland's still not back. Nah. Right, let's see how we get on. Come on, sometime today. There we go. Uh, 
Oh, got Diaz injured already. Oh dear, that's Baxter, by the way. That's not me making weird noises. Baxter, oh, that's not the best of starts. Uh, yeah, Baxter's got the sniffles, isn't you, Baxter? Hey, eh, you got the sniffles? Yeah. That shouldn't have been loud, surely. Oh God, we're going to get rinsed by Aberdeen here, by the looks of it. Good save, Tickle. Right, come on. Let's get back in this game. There we go. Ruiz with the free kick. He's very good with set pieces. Uh, the Rocky. Ooh, okay. Right, we're going to throw in a Yano. A Yano with the first time cross. Brendan Barr scores. There we go. Normal service has resumed, everybody. Keep trying to right. Coella's coming off. He's just having an abysmal day. Medina can come on for you. Vivas, unfortunately, you're not playing well in this game, which is annoying because you played so well last game. But Beeson on for you. Uh, Ruiz, you're knackered, so Mela can come on for you. And Aniyama, you're not been playing very well, so Tesco can come on for you. Come on, let's, get, let's see if we can get a late winner here. Oh no. Oh, I don't know what was, I don't know what Tickle was doing there. Thank God for whoever that was, I think it was now Rocky. We're still top with the draw though, I think. But that, I think that's because, are other, other teams playing? Oh, Celtic's playing. Hearts aren't playing there. So, if Hearts win, they'll probably overtake us. Top of the table. <laughs> playing Rangers next game. They are going further and further down. They could potentially get relegated this round. They won't, probably, but... They could possibly get relegated. Oh my god, Diaz is out for three months. Jesus Christ, we need to get a centre back in straight away. Um, right, let's have a look at the shortlist to see who we've got on the shortlist. Uh, position. Centre defender. We've got Rocco Sikovic. He's probably the best one, actually. Right, we'll have a look on this list if uh, he doesn't come to us. We'll have a we'll have a defensive lineup of Rocco and uh, now Rocky. 
All I need to do now is sign the Rocky that plays for Hibs, or used to play for Hibs. I think it's Rocky. Is that how you spell it? Uh, that's it, Rocky with a Y, sorry. Just got to sign in now, and we'll be sorted. We'll have Rocco, Rocky, and now Rocky. <laughs> Right, I'll be back in a minute the next part of the episode. And we're back for the next part of the episode. Uh, let's just work our way through the inbox items for now. Uh, Ru is apparently on the on on the move, but we aren't get I'm not looking to get rid of him, so I don't know why that's coming. Hoyland's back, thank God for that. Uh, a really, really poor offer for him. So, no. Right, let's send uh, Medina on loan. Higgins is out for a bit, which is a shame because he's a good young goalkeeper in the making. <laughs> Oh, we got potentially a will, uh, potentially a uh, fine prospect and the striker department coming through the youth system. According to the review, Right, big game ahead of us now, Rangers. Even though they're not doing very well, they could at any point. Ah, Krasnicki's back as well, thank God. Right, Rocky's coming in. We're going to have Rocky and now Rocky. And Rocco. Right there. Uh. Right, let's see how we get on. Um, right, sorry. Right, so we've got Tickle and Goal, Ayano is right back, Vivas and now Rocky in centre defence, Bruce on the left, Krasniki's back in midfield, Petrovic, Coelho on the right, Barr in the middle, Ruse on the left, and Hoyland's back up front. Thank God for that. It's good to see we've got our main man back ready for our uh, the next part of the season. Daniel Ruiz is also pleased to have um, have pulled them back in the team. We're still top of the league, but only only by the skin of our neck. Because Hearts, um, yeah, so potentially Celtic could over. If we lose this game and, and Celtic win, they'll go top. So yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's safe to say that we we're, we're likely to stay, likely to be first, second, or third this season. So it'll be slightly better than we did last season. So at least there's that. Yeah, Rangers aren't going to get relegated, but they're going. They're having a disaster of a season. <laughs> 39 minutes in and first highlight of the game. Headed out by us. Another corner. Krasnicki. We've, we've missed Krasnicki, I tell you now, and Hoyland. Really, really good to have them back in the team, even though Krasnicki's knackered already. <laughs> I 
can see like a defensive error coming up here. I think they're going to pass it too many times, lose the ball, and then we'll, I think we'll uh, score from this. See, there you go. Right, go on, Kalala. Uh, didn't work out the way I thought it would, but yeah, we've still got possession, Krasniki. Right, Ayana gets past the player, Koella. Oh, I thought that was in there. All right, corner to us, Ruiz again, set piece specialist with corners and free kicks. Koella. Get in. Well done, Koella. 1 0 to us. We will have to take Krasniki off in a minute, unfortunately. Not 100% yet. Uh, Rios. Bar's not playing very well, so we'll take him off. Uh, we actually haven't got anybody to put on for him. So we're just going to have to give him a bit of a telling off. Oh great, Petrovic is knackered now. Uh beast and off the player. <sighs> More knackered players. Right, Coella. You can come off. Oh, thank God for that. Right, we're still winning one nil. We've made a Quadruple substitution. We're uh, two points ahead of Hearts, but they have got a game ahead of us. Um, two points ahead of Celtic, got the same points as us, though. So played the same games as us, sorry. My nose is all bunged up, by the way. Oh, I don't know what. I woke up today and I can't, I can't, I can't, can't get any air through my nose. Bar with the cross. Melon and he's scoring with the header then. Hoyland's been invisible in this game. He's barely made any I've barely seen him do anything. Probably just not ready. He's probably not fitness ready. Oh there we go. Talk of the devil. Oh, gets tackled there. Oh, what a classy little goal there by Siska. Hoyland, you wanna get your thumb out of your bum because you've got a player called Siska who could quite easily take your place. Right, Rios, come on, give it to Hoyland. Let's get Hoyland. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's from Bar. There we go. At least Bar's turned his game around, scoring that goal. Still time for you, Hoyland, to turn it around. Come on. Right, free kick. Bruce. Little passing exchanges here. A yard and an out. It's tackled, but. We keep possession. Vivas. Back to Ayane. Trying to keep possession here, I think. I think we're just doing a bit of time wasting. I don't think we're going to try and score here. Ayane now, out wide. Comes across, gets tackled by Campwell. Rangers on the counter attack. We get it. We get possession, I think. I oh, know we don't. Ah, consolation goal there by Rangers. Unfortunately, Tickle won't get to keep his uh, clean sheet for this game. Will they get another one? Would be typical. No, nicely done there by Vivas, but we lose the ball again. Ah, three two. I really, really think that time's not on their side to get another goal here. There we go. Thank God for that. <laughs> Lack of concentration at the end of the game could have cost us, but we still won. 
uh, Rangers won as well. So they're closing the gap. Very tight at the top there. Come on, what's taking so long? Um, I won't bother holiday in between these, it's only two days. Right, Vivers is Napu, so we'll rest here. Send him a holiday, rest him for a week as well. Yeah, Rios, you've done well, you deserve some praise. Ash were spotted at the Ibrox Stadium. Petrovic. You leave my Petrovic alone. At least if I've got Krasniki, it won't be so bad if I lose him, but... Mm. I don't particularly want to lose Petrovic. He's one of my favourite players in this team now. Right, Dundee next game. They are currently fifth at the moment, so they won't be an easy game. We've got them, and then we've got, in the next episode, we've got first game was against Hibs. We never seem to do that well against Hibs, if I remember. It's either Hibs or Dundee United, I can't remember which one now. There's always, somebody's always got a bogey team they can't beat. Come on, uh, Gamach. Camargo, Camargo, sorry, gone. Right, Medina's going. I've had nothing in Mona. Can't offer him out yet because we've already offered him out on loan. Uh, I'm going to get rid of him as well, even though he's highly rated. He, I just can't be dealing with players keep moaning all the time. It drives me mad. Like petulant children. Just seems to be taking longer and longer to process now, which is really frustrating. It's ruining the fun. It's ruining the game for me. I don't know about anybody else. There's probably people shouting at the screen going, bloody hell, it's not that slow. I know what it's like to have a slow computer and it drove me mad. And as soon as I was in a position where I had, like, I had a bit of money here and there to always buy a relative new computer, I always did it um, when I used to gamble quite a lot, which I don't do now, by the way. But when I used to do it, I won 900 quid off this multi bet that I did um, because there was quite a few players not doing well in the Champions League group matches on that particular day. And I just decided to go, sod it, I'll put like, I'll do a lucky, I think it was like a six fold and then a lucky. 63 on all these teams turning it around and they all did and I got ridiculously good odds for it 
And um, there was one, uh, it wasn't just Champions League games, it was whatever games were on at the time. I only put a couple of quid on it, so it didn't cost me that much. But I won 900 quid, and then I was I was going to win 200 quid on the lucky 63, because I think five, I think it was five out of the six won, and I was like, happy with that. And then in the last kick of the game, the team I needed to win, which was Cagliari, um, they beat Sampdoria 4-3, and they scored the winning goal in the last kick of the game. So I went from winning 200 to 900. I couldn't believe it. Biggest win I've ever had, and I spent it wisely and bought a new laptop. So, um, but I was quite chuffed about that. Right. Anyway, back to this. Um, tickling goal. Ashby is right back. Naraki and Beeston in centre defence. Bruce on the left. Kasnicki and Petrovic in midfield. Coelho on the right. Bar in the middle. Ruiz on the left. And Annie Yamu up front. Why is Annie Yamu up front? Where's Hoyland? Hoyland needs. Oh, he's not. Uh, I'm going to put. Siska there. We'll give him a go. See how he gets on. He scored a very classy goal in the last game. His confidence is up. So we might as well make the most of it. If he doesn't do well, we can just put on Andy Yamu or Hoyland in the second half. But we'll see how he gets on. We're still first. Celtic are now the ones, uh, oh no, Hearts are still in it. They've got two games ahead of us. So technically they're three points up on us if you look at it like that. Right, nothing so far in this game. Very boring game for you lot to watch. Uh, Celtic. Let's have a look at the latest scores. Celtic are winning, so we definitely need to win this game. We've got a lot of tired players already, and it's only 45 minutes into the game. Ah, uh, Dundee. Oh, that's not what we want. Hello, Baxter. It's all right, Baxter's just woke up. He's giving me a little kiss. And yeah, you giving me a little kiss. Yes. God, they've got another corner. It would be typical losing this game. It's definitely on brand. And it for Luke's rep. Right. Yano can come on for him. Krasnicki. We else can come on for you. And then Coella. Come off and we'll put Medina on. Oh, Ross County's got one back, so you never know. We definitely, definitely need to get our form out of that. Oh, for God's sake, they've got another free kick. Good save, Tickle. Good clearance as well. Right. Get on there. Right, I need to do some tinkering around, I think. That's the... Sorry. My dog's playing. Um, oh, let's go into tactics. Let's do that with that. Let's put. Um, all right, let's just do that. Let's see what happens. Celtic winning 3-1 now. 
Oh great, we're giving them a bloody penalty. <sighs> Godo, what a name. Come on, Tickle. Ugh, kiss goodbye to our title chances. <sighs> yeah, well, we're, not, we're probably not going to win the title now, everyone. <sighs> Consolation goal. At least Hoyle in school. There we go. Go on, ref. Disallow it. There we go. Right. Title hopes are over. Oh well, we did well to get it to that point. I know there's still plenty of the season left, but you can just see it happening. You don't want to give Celtic an inch because they'll take a bloody mile. Right then, I'll just wait for this to load up and then we'll just go through the inbox items. If it lets me do it, there we go. So, McCormick was uh, watching Daniel Ruiz. Oh, interesting job offer here. Red Bull Leipzig. Right then, on that note, I'm going to call it a day. But thank you as always for watching, and we'll be back next week. I'll be back tomorrow, sorry, with another episode. Um, hopefully we'll get this season done by the, by the end of next week. And then we can figure out next week from onwards, what we're going to do when it comes to football minus content. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section, but as always, uh, enjoy your day. All the best. Bye.